the element of the timing and what Algeria has proposed makes perfect sense. Most of the national oil companies set their official selling prices for the next month within the first four or five days. It's quite unusual for them to be later, later than that in a normal period, but we're far from a normal period. So trying to bring it forward makes it easier to contact their buyers for July orders. It would also give a very clear signal as to what volumes they are, what volumes they are expecting, and the degree to which the market will further tighten. Because the view we have is the low points of the market saw is in April. The market is certainly going to tighten quite strongly during from June onwards, and it's whether the proposed cuts, further cuts that Saudi um, suggested, would be matched by Russia. If so then we'll end up with the, the oil market tightening very, very strongly through the summer. Alan, very good morning to you. We're all looking at bated breath, with bated breath, and what happens in shale next. We all knew there was a lack of investment last year. Uh, of course, there's a lack of investment this year. Does that mean that big decline we've seen in production out of the U.S. is set to continue? If so, to where? Oh, it's very much a couple of, couple of things going on. Um, what we've seen is a huge drop in activity in reflection to the um, drop in the absolute price. With uh, WTI mid-30s now, then some of those drilled and uncompleted wells start to become viable again. So there's the potential for activity to return. What, you know, what then needs to come into it is the corporate behaviour as to what's best for their balance sheet, what's best for their lenders, the reserve base, uh, reserve base lending, how that's been re-established. Re so we see activity returning to the U.S. tight oil sector, but returning slow, slowly as the companies really try and strengthen and fix their, their balance sheets. So we, we, have some, we, have the, we have basically a period of stabilization where new drilling compensates for the ongoing production declines that are quite severe with U.S. titling.